Nancy Reagan, who passed away at the age of 94 yesterday. She's going to be remembered not only as President Reagan's sounding board on policies and personnel appointments, but also for her incredible impact on numerous charities and social issues here in America. Joining me now is a man who had a first-hand experience of the Reagans, former Reagan White House Chief of Staff Ken Duberstein. Ken, good to see you. Thank you very much for coming in. Did it I, is my pleasure. Did I overstate her importance as, as kind of a policy advisor to the president? Uh, I think she was more of a personnel director than a policy advisor. She had this uncanny sense of figuring out who was on her husband's agenda and who had their own agenda. You never wanted to cross Nancy Reagan, but she also gave tidbits to the president and insights about what was going on, what were people asking, what direction she thought he should go in. So she was a Is great she, character analyst. I, I, it begs the question, Ken, did, did she have any role to play in advising you or, in fact, in getting you your job? Uh, as a matter of fact, um, she was instrumental in getting my, me my job. Uh, unbeknownst to me, uh, when I came back to the White House the second time to be deputy and then White House chief of staff, I was very hesitant about coming back. The president was at the depths of Iran-Contra, 37 percent job approval. People were saying not only a lame duck, but a virtual dead duck. And I was summoned to the Oval Office, and I remember the president getting up from behind his desk walking over and greeting me warmly and all he said is I know that you have some hesitation but I just want you to know Nancy and I want you to come home for the last two years of the wow. administration. Wow and they were extraordinary and, and they course, were extraordinary years those were the years that kind of set his his legacy in stone I, I just have to ask one final question and, and, go ahead and he ended the presidency at 68 percent job approval no, unbelievable the, the highest job approval of any two-term president. Just, just to put that in perspective, President Obama now has 51 percent approval, and that's considered to be high. So 68 Correct. is unprecedented. All right. Finally, did she share her husband's conservative convictions? A lot of people say, as instrumental as she was on these personnel decisions, she did so from a, a more liberal perspective. Is that true or not, Ken? Well, uh, certainly Ronald Reagan was conservative, but he was a conservative pragmatist. He knew that he was in office in order to accomplish things for the American people. In order to do that, sometimes he had to compromise, but not in his principles. Uh, she supported him on that across the board. Did she encourage him on things like the Soviet Union? Of course she did. But that was his inclination to begin with. He used to say, how can I deal with the Soviets when all the leaders keep dying on me? <laughs> until he got to Gorbachev, and, and Nancy certainly was instrumental in yeah. that. Um, so yeah, she had a major role to play. Great. They were true partners. Ken Duberstein, and you were right there. I, I envy your position for those years. Thank you, Ken. Appreciate you Thanks being here. Thanks so much.